I get paired up with you every time, so we, I, I'm going to assume. <laughs> and we're live. I've got here my uh, co-smashcaster here. This guy. As you can see, there's Falco and Fox fighting each other. That's cool. And we're live. I've got this, here my uh, uh, co-smashcaster here, this guy. As you can see, there's Falco and Fox fighting each other. That's cool. It's a close battle. It's just a friendly. It's a close battle. Monster, it's good. And then run. The mo and the more points you get too, like each win. I'm the bottom one. I'm right there. So like before when they were getting like, I don't know, sixth place, when there's only a few amount of people here, it, that seems like it would... Yeah, the, the first tournament where there weren't a lot of people here, like a couple of those, like the people who... Yeah. Uh, in the end, it's going to be a small yeah, amount of the Okay. NorCal and Central Cal Facebook pages. Please do. Oh, he's hot dog. I have a Okay. No, uh, tournament's going to start at roughly 730. <laughs> 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 All right, Michael, let's commentate on this next battle. I don't think we should. Justin. 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 
So we got Justin versus Sean here. Justin uh, being a newcomer and Sean being... No, he is. Right there. Oh, shit. So, yeah, Sean's definitely one of the best ones. We got Justin versus Sean I think this matchup favors Fox quite a bit. What do you what do you think? There's not many matchups where Fox isn't the favored. Yeah. That damage is me and you. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, it's me and Lloyd. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. God damn it, why do I have to fight Marth again? <laughs> Fuck! I don't want to fight Marth anymore. <laughs> Who's Max going against? Max is man. He's man? Man. So man and muck? Who's muck? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. A graphic? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh A graphic? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What is upstream? Uh, no. Oh. All right, yet. so I'm talking to no one. Sweet. <laughs> Wait, so who's they? Stream? <laughs> stream? Oh, what up, stream? Oh, okay. Hey. hey. <laughs> Sean sucks. Oh, Drake is watching. What is upstream? How's it going, guys? 
Uh, my name is. Uh, Alright, so I'm talking to no one. Sweet. Justin. Is this still friendlies or are we on? Uh, is this still friendlies or turn it? Who's they? I say this slams the front of the screen. Stream? Oh, what up, stream? Hey. <laughs> Justin and Jada. I'm Muck. Yeah, yeah. Well, my name's Mick, but uh, but when I'm in a Smash tournament, I'm Muck. Is that a TV? Hey. How's it going, stream? Yeah. Deuces. That's not even deuces. Well, you are. That's who you are. But. When I'm in yeah, a there you go. All cap, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be really yeah. angry when you say his name and just be like, GET ON! <laughs> Sorry. That was okay. too loud. Yeah. Don't tell me what to do. Poor how many viewers? Poor six viewers. Hey, right now it's six because they know the train hasn't started. Because they have, they're all synced up on the watches and everything, yeah. You have to be really angry when you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what lets them know your watch makes, clink, clink. Apparently. Apparently. Oh, should we should probably get melee set up on station two then, huh? That might help. That might help if we're playing a melee tournament. Yeah, because we're trying to go through. I guess. You were hogging the camera time. Oh, should we You're probably wiggly. No, I, I think yeah, there's just a delay. Just no, there's just a delay. That's not like that's not real time. See? Watch, oh, yeah, you'll see that. me pointing a little bit. That's us right there. Oh. Yeah. So right, it is. So um, we got. What is it? Oh, I think it's. I'm fix my hair for all the cute girls watching the stream. That's not like real time. <laughs> so just doing a few more of this, which I mean is needed. They just got here. It was, a, it was a button check. It was a button check. Got to make sure all the buttons are functioning properly. Button check. Button check. Button check. Button check. Yes, that's what I said. I said button check. All right. So more like butt check. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So do you Panda and Dion, huh? Right, we got so who? Panda and Dion. Panda is... Oh, we don't have their names on the top. Wait, so which screen should I be looking at here? This one or that one? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, I can't... Oh, okay. Okay, so we're watching this one. Okay. Well, is it lagged at all? Like that top is there right a delay one? at all or no? Is there a delay on the top right one at all? Uh, alright, sweet. So I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if you heard it, but we have a 20 man bracket here. Sean's poking in the picture. Who's Sean? Drinking. <laughs> that's that's lag. That's, that's yeah, that's lag. lag, so he saw you. <laughs> don't worry. That was Sean's the, the stream got their portion of Sean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, he's got shout outs. Tuck, tuck wants some of your Luigi. Wait, was that the guy talking shit? He wants the Luigi. Yeah, he was. Got a ring thing for him. The stream got their portion of Sean. So yeah, a 20 man bracket. I mean, hey, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be Smash Bros without Smack Talk. Are they already playing? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should be commentating that. Oh, all right. So currently, we got Marth and Sheik going at it. Oh, oh, threw in for the hard read. Didn't Panda quite get it. It wouldn't be Smash Bros. without Smack Talk. Nice little air dodge to avoid everything. I mean, hey, when in doubt, forward smash it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, can, couldn't quite let Chog that. I wonder if it's painfully obvious how little I know about melee, based on what I'm saying. Melee? Yeah. I mean... Well, I mean, I mean Smash, hey, Smash, Smash Bros. in general. Smash, Smash Bros. in general. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a picture? Aw, oh, cute. Everyone, Christmas card. That's my way. Chris is on top my way. Of the Go for it, yeah. Get in there. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, we got I'm looking at the picture. Aw, oh, cute. Christmas card, that's my way. Chris, that's my way. 
Go for it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's the picture? I was here in spirit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so this is still an even matchup. Can't quite get the forward smash. And we're gonna. We're gonna see if they can just rack up some more damage. Ooh, nice down smash. Yeah, so it seems like yeah. Marth's just a little laid back. Way to read the recovery. Oh, a little early on the pull-up. <laughs> Pretty even match we got here currently. Yeah, I mean, both they're both stock high damages. Percent. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why no one has died yet. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, a death is long overdue at this point. Ooh, easy. We're just, we're just waiting for someone to die. We're They're just color commentating. There hey, is. there we go. Stock okay. gone for Marth. And easy 120%. Marth just is literally one forward, forward smash. smash. There you go. Ah. Cheeks heavier than he thinks, roll. but still enough. <laughs> all right, still an even matchup. With Very these two. even between these players. It's almost like they play all the time you can together. I was about to say, if you could see them playing right now, you'd understand the determination on their face. And you can <laughs> totally can see them playing. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, which is awesome. there's that. All right, he keeps getting those down airs, but he's not not doing too much with them. Ooh, went for the read, went for the single, the standalone tech or whatever you would call it when they only tech and don't roll. What is it called when they? Sorry. There you go. What is it called when they uh they tech, but they don't like roll away with the tech, just stay there? That's just straight tech. That's just a tech. That's just tech. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm right. hip to your game. I, I see what you're doing there. How about us hearing each other? Can we, that still ain't happening. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. This is double monitors are so sick. Next, when I build my next rig, I'm definitely getting double monitors. Gotta do the desk big enough for him though. She is holding on to that one life. <laughs> Ooh. Poorly just timed forward. Trying to get some type of way. I mean honestly, if she can just if she can do a side or a forward tilt into a for a fair. Oh, there it is. Or that could happen too. <laughs> well that's only first game, so only first game. He's got another. They're a little warmed up now. They're feeling better. I mean, every it's it's known fact that you get better at Sm Smash Bros. the later it gets. Known fact. Many a slumber party has taught me that. <laughs> and yes, I call them slumber parties. <laughs> yeah, right. They're not sleepovers. <laughs> They're slumber parties. <laughs> slumber party. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Totally thought they just picked Poke Floats, and I was like, oh my god, shit just got real. What? I, th I thought they picked Poke Floats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was stoked. Stuff, yeah. And then, uh. Um, see, what Marth. Personally, I think Marth needs to have a better follow up than just a down throw and then an attempt to forward or a front forward smash. Yeah, but I mean, he keeps going behind himself. Because he, I haven't, I'm given, I haven't been paying a lot of attention, but I haven't seen him land one of them. Oh, good. Nicely played by Sheik. Oh, good. Good neutral air. Oh, the winds are blowing. Storm's coming in. Yeah, Nick. Where's the stream shout out? Oh, there's the tipper. There's the tipper. That'll help. And just like that, pretty much even game. Like it's been. Literally, that wind is my least favorite thing about this game. Like, I don't know who decided this would be a competitive stage because that wind is the worst. Oh! If she dropped into that, I would have had no sympathy. Yeah, then again, that's something I totally would have done. So, 
you know, I ran into my fair share of fully charged ca falcon punches. Is it really any different? Find out next time on next week's Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Admittedly, she could be doing a better job edge guarding. She's kind of just letting Martha cover as she pleases. Who is who was the person that was only down smashing on the edge? That was Peter. Who? Who put who put together that who put together the compilation of that? Was that you that put together the compilation? That was hilarious. I was laughing so hard. We should we should link that on the stream. We should link that uh R Rob Who's Sarush? He was here the other week. How do you know? You weren't here. He was here when I was here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's... Uh, did that guy already leave for military? I'm pretty sure. That sucks. Yeah. He was cool. I like. I miss him. He was Shway. Shway was it? Shway, Shway was cool, yeah. That's exactly the same situation with me and him. I can read him like a book at this point. It's great. <laughs> The funny thing is, though, Marth can't seem to reach Sheik's uh, tech when he grabs him, so... Yeah, see... Oh, see, if that worked out for him, I would have been... Oh, chain grabs? <laughs> the chain grabs are strong. No, not with this wind. This wind, yeah, def this wind definitely does more harm than foul. How's so stream? How's the volume on me? Am I good? Because I'm really kind of just shooting in the dark here. I can't. Uh, there's no literal. There's literally no audio feedback in my headphones. I can't hear myself. <laughs> I'm assuming they can hear me, <laughs> but I could just be talking to no one. Oh, a little early on the get up. It's definitely. I mean, oh. But I mean, hey, he's still got a full, still got a full stock. Very capable of ending it. Try to use the down smash. Who won last one, Marth or Sheik? Yeah, right. Oh. But this is um, I don't know. Maybe it's the wind. <laughs> it's the wind. <laughs> oh, no, nah, it's enough to survive. Oh. You'd be surprised. Yeah. It's all about the timing on that getup. I'm telling you. Wait, who's who? Who's playing Sheik? Who's playing? Panda's playing Marth. Yeah, I know, but I'm mean, like, who's Panda? <laughs> <laughs> we'll learn. We'll learn this. We'll figure it out. Hey, this one with the glasses. Okay. Okay. Can he roll this side? Hey, he doesn't oh need to. Gosh. Oh. This is Miss Martha's this is refusing to die. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Oh. Decides to just roll out. Oh my. Oh, oh that'll finish it. No, oh my oh. gosh. Yeah, that's. Who made Marth so heavy? <laughs> there oh, you go. Time to well. The roll. <laughs> so we're seeing a third game from there. Wait, pandas on sheep? Mark? Alright, so 1-1. One, one. There's no game volume? Thank you, Sharoosh, for uh, helping us out here, so I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, that's cool. Hey, type this, isn't it? And he's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to type that shit. What? It's always just like that meme type. Yeah, nothing really relevant. Yeah. But hey, Google type in the donger dollar bill. And then. The donger dollar bill? Yeah. Kappa. Kappa. Raise your dongers. Oh my god, what a tag. I mean, didn't really work out for him, but it was a it was, it was definitely an impressive tech. <laughs> this is game three. It's one to one. Both of them have just been having have this knack of just surviving as long as possible. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon? Did you say Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Find out next week. On the next week's Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Nice. And it's not enough. Oh, it's enough. Oh, there we go. For a, I'm sorry, did you say rowboat? 
just got the sword coming up out of nowhere. That's some real dude. What? Yeah, we could have been playing that shit. Cause like we were practicing melee, and we were like, yeah, melee's like this shit now. And then Nick was like, hey, we have to go to robot. I was like, let's fucking play, dude. See, I totally thought he meant like. I thought he meant a fucking rowboat. I was like, what? First of all, why'd you buy a rowboat? Second of all, why'd you customize it? <laughs> Woo! Good forward air. Alright, how's that doing, Sharush? Looks like Sheik's still in the lead. You see that? I mean, what are, what are the headset part for? No, we can't, we're not even hearing anything. That's true. There you go. There, now we can hear each other. Alright, tell us how this is going because we're going to try this out. Because we should not want to talk to each other. Wait, should we be able to hear, like, volume or anything? We, can, the headset? we can't do it right now. Let's do this. So we can talk. Hey, I can hear. I can, it's just, it's quiet, but I just turned this all the way up and I can hear it. What up? Oh, uh, okay. Alright, well, I'll just do this. I'm okay with that. Okay, cool. Alright. Is it, is 2 up right now? No. Is Station 2 available right now? Okay, cool. So, she is all right. so I'm just going to go play my game now. It's all up to you to commentate, I believe. Oh, okay, fine. Hello there. Is this Peter? Ah, yes it is. Right. And I'm Welcome coming Peter. in hot after a uh, 2 0 win versus Scott. But what do we have going on here? Who's playing? This it's is, Panda uh, and Dion. Panda and Dion. Panda, the, they're Panda brothers, right? These they're brothers. One plays Smart, one so. plays I mean, Sheik. It's and kind of obvious when they're playing together because they can read each other's texts. Yeah, they're getting all the reads, right? Yep, they are. Yeah. Um, actually, Sheik won last game. Okay, um, so are we up uh, 1 0, Sheik? It's 1 1, but Sheik's been in the lead this whole game. So we're just oh, to and we're down to the last stock. Oh my gosh, this is yeah, like, exactly. what's going on? I should be hyper for this, and off stage, and he's not going to make it back. Can't get back. And that's it. Coming Look just to see the end. Oh, that hug, Good that love. Oh man, Good everyone can applaud that. Alright, so yeah. Panda's moving on up. Shout out to Brothers. Oh, he's cool to see. Alright, what match do we have coming up on stream now? I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have uh, Chris call it out any second now. Let's see, how many viewers we got? Seven people in here? That's nice, that's good. We need more. You gotta call all your friends and get them all and the, send them the link to the stream. Just kind of post it in random places around the internet. I'm sure people will... People will just click on it. Just post it on your Facebook. You don't know who's your friend who plays Smash Bros. Yeah. You don't know. You know. The, you might the, know. Yeah. That's not. all I met Peter. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And now we're Facebook official. We are. And apparently you know my friends. You know Andrew. And you know Andreas. Yeah, maybe. Dude, we're who? mutual friends. <laughs> Andrew Diaz. Oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, you went to my high school. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. So I was on a soccer team. Wait, you went to my high school? No, I played on his soccer team. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I, did, I really don't know don't you. Don't remember you, yeah. <laughs> but look, Sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble hearing you. I guess I could... That's what I'm doing this for, but he's saying that my uh, my voice isn't coming as clear as, as yours, so... Yeah. We'll see if it's just well, like, the mic. The other reason I like having the headphones on is because I got the game sound, so I can hear those, you know, the, sick the audio screams, cues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Fox is like, ah! <laughs> yeah. All right, but we got a uh, uh, Colby and Tucker. Tuck Tucker Dynasty. Tucker. Tuck Dynasty. Colby is just Colby, I think. Tuck Dynasty <laughs> took uh, second last week, right? I, I think so. I'm, I'm, I think so. I'm pretty I think sure he did. He took second overall. And so I wasn't here. You were here. Fun so. match. To see. Oh, you weren't here? No, no. Everything I was, was, so I was watching the stream for a little bit. Um, All right. So here's a fun fact. You play melee, right? You're more of a melee yep, player. Definitely. I'm more of a PM player. So I think that's why we're gonna work well together. Cause you'll know you'll know more what's happening in this game, but I, I still know everything. Uh, All right. With some of the matchups. I expect you to be on that uh that color commentary and stuff. You know, shouting out everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. All right, Colby wins. Colby wins the single elimination rock paper scissors. Let's see if he can win the uh, the game. Now, 
What I'm gonna need eventually, just putting this match aside for a moment, putting this banning aside, is I need a smash tag that I can use for these tournaments. Because you got J Dog here, and then it's just Peter, and it's like, what is, you know, what is you going, going on? This? You go by PD. <laughs> yeah, I, that's not a smash tag. That's just great. Do you like but, Peter Pit? But here we go. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll see maybe what we Peter. can do. All right, All right. So heading into this match, we've got a Marth vs. Fox. Tucker on the Fox and uh, Colby on the Marth. Colby playing a variety of characters over these past few weeks. We've seen his Falco. We've seen his uh, Marth. We've seen other things. He does like to stick to his Marth though, mostly. Yeah. And that's I mean that's pretty smart for this um, for this matchup between them. You yeah. Kind of get his sword out there. Marth certainly has uh, chain grabs on Fox, and oh, I always. I expect Colby to be the type to have practiced those to being pristine, so if we can get if he can get a grab, we'll see what he can get off of it. But uh, Fox getting an up air off his grab. Up, yeah, and up throw up air. Ooh, and taking out that him. first stock. Eat those boots, Mars. Oh man, we're up to 10 viewers. Three people joined in real quick. Three people wanted to see Tucker <laughs> take that first stock off of Colby. <laughs> All right. So we've got some uh, forward smash spacing, up smash, okay. not, oh, not okay. I think it was accidental, probably going for you an up tilt. You should tell that read, you should tell that read more often. She got to see, ooh, nice uh, dash dancing coming out from Tucker, but it's not going to stop him from getting comboed around in the air. Marth is very good at carrying characters across the stage with those aerials. Ooh. And that neutral air is going to send Fox off Let's stage. See if he can, gonna be able he tries to, to get it. the little poke in. Not quite, not quite. Up throw, up air, misses it. Can't be missing those. It's about the standard combo there is in this game. Ooh. Uh oh. And baits him into trying to recover anyway. when he has the chance, and then goes in with the dash attack. To so Tuck still has all four stocks. Further. Yeah, but high percent. I just expect to see one of stocks go any second We're gonna see if he can get something. I mean, any strong hit will take him out right now. forward smash. Oh, a little forward, side forward tilt. tilt. Hey. A little tilt. And the forward tilt. Pulls him out that first stop. Grabs the edge. Ooh. Catches him again with a little bit of a misplay there, but he's getting back on his feet. Trying to get some stage positioning going on. He's up throw, up air. And floats back to the stage. Using those side Bs to sort of stall his descent, make it a little bit more confusing for the Fox player trying to jump up against him. He's not going to make it back yeah, to the stage he here. Lost his We've got a two stock lead for Tucker going into this last stock for Colby. We're probably gonna see a shine spike. I think he, I think he's gonna go yeah, down. Yeah, he's trying for it. He's going for it. He's yeah, going he's out there, go but that's gonna oh, do no, it. He's not gonna need it. Shine gets no him off the stage, but no then salty. those uh, solid forward smashes, solid uh, solid edge guarding coming out from Tucker. And another three viewers hopped in here. I think uh, I think our stream took the advice and started posting the link everywhere on the internet. <laughs> and we're also oh no no we're not. But when we play PM, we'll be on the PM live stream on the state on their page. So ah, six that'll stuff. help too. Every week new stuff going on. So heading into Yoshi's. Fox using those up throws, but he's been missing the up airs. I'm pretty sure Marth has a pretty good advantage on the stage, because all he's got to do is throw out like a mean forward smash, and Fox is gone. Well, Marth is just, uh, you know, really solid under the platforms here, because his sword on most of his attacks, forward tilt, or they all catch forward above the smash platform. or uh, up tilt, are going to cover those platforms, too. He can cover three sides of... Uh, but it seems like Fox knows this. Fox would need to go all the way around him. That's why Fox is going to try to really control the center of the stage and keep his character in the middle as much as he can. He's okay, not going to want to send out yet. One good, solid forward <laughs> smash is going to end that stock and bring us right back to a uh, OO lead. I believe 2014. I believe that. do have Tucker up one match. Ooh, solid drill. Ooh, Again with the that up, was up throw up air. Nice, creative combo. Ooh, and dash dancing, nice. baits out the forward smash, goes in with dash check. Ooh, shines him off stage. I would expect him down. Uh, let's see if there. counter, maybe a counter. Getting solid back on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dash of, uh, attack. Walking back and forth. Easily and red. Up there, gonna end that stock. All right. So Tucker, Fox's him off patience. Stage. Mm, and he falls down. Controller flub, I suppose. Running around. Look at those dash dancing. <laughs> doing that perfectly. <laughs> Luckily, it lands right on this platform, though. Yeah. Ooh, and that down smash out of nowhere is going to cost him. 
as he goes in, drill shine. Oh, shine goes for the off sun, edge, yep. And that's going to end this match. Quick. Good games, quick good games. Coming out from Tucker against Colby. Tucker is uh, expected to go pretty far in this tournament, taking second last week's FD Friday. We do have a few more people here today. It is a 20 man bracket now, so. Oh, man. We'll see yeah, if there's anybody a lot can more compete. people to go through. We got everyone warming up on the other stations. We got three other station setups besides this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, take a look at this uh, bracket and see who I'm going to be playing next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, Chris and Drew on stream. I'm pretty sure Chris is going to go with his peach, maybe. Yeah, he he uh he was trying out Marth last week, and he might be uh, doing some more of that. I think he was practicing Marth like with Colby as, as uh, I arrived here this uh, evening. That's good, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Marth is a solid character. Yeah, Marth, I mean... I, he actually did some work with his peach. Sometimes he would just throw down like a down smash out of nowhere, and that would yeah. catch people off guard. I'd say Marth is a character that has a pretty like low, you know, technical entry Learning point, curve. Yeah. and then has a lot of high technical mastery. That Easy to play, hard character. to master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, no, definitely. But certainly, you know, good on both sides of that. All right. You can't say that for most characters, though. Viewers in the stream. Oh my goodness! We've been growing. We're sixteen viewers. We're How? just starting. We're not even close to finals, but we'll get there. Who's end? Oop, oop. Do you get that? FDS. We're looking. Uh, we're looking into it right now. Looking into what's causing that. Is anyone else getting uh, those sorts of issues on the stream? Any any buffering or lag? Are the mics doing well? Is the video doing well? The volume doing on. well? So yeah, it looks like we're going to have uh, Chris's Marth versus Drew's Falco. Let's see. Alright, thank you, Shrew. Glad you're watching from home. Yeah. Sick, uh, just wanted to say, like, if you couldn't be here, totally right? appreciate your Mewtwo, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I've always loved Mewtwo, just could never play him well. So, like, it's just cool to see, like, like you're basically from the movies on YouTube. Yeah. You probably have a few uh, other headsets here, but going into this match, we'll, we'll look into that in just a moment. Here. All right, so trying to get those killer combos started, but uh, Marth not quite getting sent in the right direction. Ooh, good forward, forward smash. Forward smash coming out, yeah. Okay, he's giving a little but tilt there. Gonna, uh, just wall him out with the sword. Do some oh work. my Ooh. gosh. Playing fast. Playing furious, getting into this game. Oh, you gotta be careful with those forward smashes. Yeah, a lot of lag mean, there. Mart's forward smash is one of those things that's really easy to like attempt to dodge it and then get just into the sweet spot just the range tip. of just the, the sword. Just the top of the sword. Yeah, I mean sometimes it's better to run in and just take the hit rather than get sent crazy far away. Yeah, and that's that basically what Falco's doing. He's kind of throwing out his lasers, going yeah. in, jumping back out. Drew with some solid laser approaches. He's been uh, working on this over the past few FD Fridays. Lasering in, hitting a down air, and then going into some sort of tech chase combo. Mm -hmm. It's scary. Whenever Ooh, I play against good Drew. Good job, reset. Scary stuff. Ooh, oh, okay. Solid charged forward smash. Going to clear out the stock. All right. Oof. Where was he going with that one? Gets grabbed. Oh, oh convert off the grab. That looked like it might have hit, but it should. Not quite this time. On the ground, get up attack, sends him off the stage. Can, oh yes. Ooh, forward forward smash. And oh, okay. Didn't forward even smash need it. not needed. Yeah. Just did a little tilt. I thought he was gonna smash good. In the other Still hit. good. In case the game breaks and he goes twice as far as he should. Let's see what he's gonna do with this throw. He, I, oh. Not he's quite got, getting the, he's uh, got the chain grabs with Falcon. Not quite getting but. the chain grabs. I think that's what he was practicing with uh, Colby when I came in here. He was practicing some Marth chain grabs. So we'll see if he can uh, get any of them out. Yeah, this, of I mean, course, is even not at really a melee you can player. Still get some well, chain grabs. he's a melee player now, but he's only been a melee player for a few weeks now <laughs> since the first uh, FD Friday. So it's good Who's to see Drew? whatever he can get out. That's uh, Chris. Chris here on the uh, Marth. Uh, Chris plays more PM? Uh, no, he, he didn't play oh, he any didn't play Smash games. Right. He, he's, uh, he's like a third strike player or something. Or no, uh, he, an MVC player. 
I think he's played some third strike though. He plays he plays more marble. I know that. And there it is, three stock for first game. Good, good. All right. So we're gonna wait a second, try to get yeah. all this technical stuff figured out. We've got uh, we've got uh, Colby working on the stream. Gonna get some fun facts flying around. Oh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I see, <laughs> see those stuff going around. Colby and Chris putting so much work to this stream, making animations, making names sliding, making all this stuff. Using the really place as a venue. Yeah, I mean. I mean, 20 people in this house right now. You know. And we're only in the front room. Whatever the players are doing here, the true heroes of FD Friday are uh, Colby and Chris for making this a uh, making this event happen and putting so much work into it. All right, yeah. match two gonna happen on Dreamland. We'll see if uh, Drew can close this out in a quick 2-0 or if uh, or Drew can yeah or if Chris can. Take some stuff here. Take some stuff. <laughs> Just a simple jump over. Yeah. Alright. Oh. I think Sometimes Drew gave him that one. It's on uh, what side the character will end up on when they do a move against you. You don't know whether they're going to stop on you or, or go through you. Clank or something. Down tilt, sending him into the sky. Oh. Backers. Man, Looking he's just throwing backers. out all these moves. Downers. Oh. Yeah, Drew's certainly good at uh, getting a lot of attacks out there, making just a wall of uh, hitboxes around his character. With his sword. So that I think he forgot he had another jump there. Did he have another jump? I, I, I think so, maybe. If he didn't, then he tried his hardest. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh. Dash attacks coming out from Mars. Dash attacks. For days. This dash attack is really... Uh, Risky. It's got a oh, lot yeah. of end lag on it, but it it can be rewarding because it pops them up just enough that you can hit totally. them with another uh, solid swipe. But yeah, sword. definitely punishment for days after that. <laughs> Am I getting a massage? <coughs> Shout out to Muck. Back yeah, massage. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, could have totally down aired him right there. A, I need a smasher to rub my back while I. Thank <laughs> <Wait>, you. <laughs> that that? No. You got another back rubber <laughs> over here. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Getting in here. <laughs> Shoots a little laser Working at him. those lasers. Working those shines. Gonna see a solid uh, backer to close out the stock. I think that's what we're gonna see. Coming out there. Right now. Shining him into the air. He's just gotta hit him with a move. Any uh, thing oh to send him to the he's side. Just bouncing him Reverse everywhere. back air, sending him far enough that he's not gonna make it back. Alright. So, two stocks up. Let's see if uh, Chris can take off more than one stock here. I, I think he has it in him. If he can get him off stage, I'm pretty sure he knows what to do. Swing the sword <laughs> over that edge, don't let him sweet spot it. Got it, got the grab, throws him oh, back. Oh, could have went for the forward smash right yeah, there. Yeah, forward smash right there would have ended it. That was it. Ooh. He's, Falco saying, if, you, if you're gonna go out off of the ledge, I'm just gonna shine spike, I'm gonna down air. He gives him the ledge again. Chris will need to work on some of his edge guarding game, especially if he wants to take his mark from the next. Especially level. if you're playing as Marth. Yeah. He's got he's got the game for it, but up smash coming out from Falco. If he was Fox, that might have killed. Oh, and the falls wind. off the stage. The SD. Oh. But forward smash comes in. Martha, even with SD the doesn't really matter. I think he was going for the four stock, but yeah. well, three stock still okay. Can still get a JV, and now he can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They've used a knife to both players, <laughs> as they're now up to. What's tough about this stage is if you get them on the top platform, even an up smash won't guarantee that they'll fly off. Yeah. Unlike Yoshi's story, but... It's got a high ceiling. Mm -hmm. That's going to clear the map. And that's it! We All see right. Drew moving on. Chris uh, throwing Two in his best effort. From Drew. If he just keeps playing every week. Every yeah. week out on Finals Friday. J Dog and Justin. All right, guys, you're gonna see me play. I am not a melee player, but I'm going in with my Ganondorf right now. All right, Ganondorf. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Or bro. This might as well have fun with it, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. 
Peter and Drew on commentary. Drew making a quick work of Chris in those two matches. It's like, it's like the favorite right here, favorite stream match. Yeah, that was a uh, favorite stream commentary. That was fun. Uh, play Chris. Chris is getting pretty good, I can tell. Uh, yeah. Just from like never playing when like, we started this, we started this group. Like he's getting ridiculous. I'm surprised yeah. at how much he's improved already. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Who's on stream? Is there a way to like blow up the Jewish chat? Because I have terrible eyesight. Uh, Justin! Okay. Who's the winner is Justin? Is that as much as it'll go? That's good, I can redo that. Okay, cool. No problem. Saruj, dude, where have you been? Like, I was waiting for you to ask me if I could pick you up today and just never came. Like, what's going on? Alright, so going in, we've got, uh, Sean versus Mock. Sean, or I think he wanted to go into this tournament as Az, AZ. He did, uh, not wearing his tag, but we know who he is. So, when did Muck start playing Falco like this? He always had Falco? I have not uh, played many games against Muck at all. That Shine Spike almost ending the stock, but since in the other way, fortunately for Muck. Uh, yeah, it's up there. Uh, oh, that was a flub. That was not supposed to happen. Muck's uh, throwing up. Oh, oh, that was a good trade. Like, great trade for him. He had, like, what, zero percentage on. What happened there? Did the uh, Phantasm run into the down air? Wait, both of the spiking moves are from Falco. What, uh, what, what did happen there? Uh, oh, I nothing. Uh, Muck just like suicided off stage to, suicide down to confirm the kill, yeah. All right. Which was great. Like, that was, yeah, that was from higher percent, it, always a good thing to do. We were looking yeah. for those down smashes. Definitely. Let's see. Oh, he almost had him right there. Sean, of course, is always a strong contender, or as I should say, is a strong contender for uh, taking first place at these FD Fridays, but. Looks like he's having his work cut out for him in this match, as it's a pretty even match into the second stock. Yeah, dude, Sean's having a little bit of tough time. Hey, he's having a tough time dealing with Mux just straight out smashes. Like he's, been, he's been hit by quite a few uh, oh. just straight up forward smashes. If he had held that edge just a second more, he would uh, have the stock and... Oh, oh, not coming out. So, a little bit of an echo coming from Drew. I think we'll change out the microphone eventually in between one of these sets. See, like, what's what's up with Sean getting hit by just a raw forward smash? Up. Get his chain grab going, well, I know that Sean's been working on getting his tech skill up to what it used to be a long time lately, and uh, it's possible he's thinking a bit too hard when he should just be thinking about getting out of there, you know? Yeah, Making definitely. space, going in when he has the opening, instead of dancing around the other character with his... Fancy skills. Definitely Not angry. that he doesn't have solid skills. Yeah, and one thing Sean said that he's gonna work on is like he said he has no breaks. Like quote, he's got no breaks. He just goes ham the whole time, and it's gotten him into trouble because he'll just run right into some forward smashes. Yeah. But, it's that. always good to be throwing out moves, but eventually you gotta slow down and focus on getting some defense for you. And that shine spike in the end the match. He pulls out the first game. That's a normal. two stock too. Yeah, it was good. Good on him. So, but Muck sure certainly showed that he can uh, he can hang in there. In those first two stocks, that was solid. It was it's only good. until uh, Fox started getting his shine spike game on that it started turning around. Looks like. But yeah, definitely. Um, and I guess I guess Muck's transitioning into his jigs. Uh, this is you know this is a good matchup. You gotta have a lot of tech skill as Falco to be able to deal with Fox pressure. Mm -hmm. So as Jigglypuff, you know his combos aren't gonna work quite as well. So this is yeah. a good thing. He'll just uh, kind of sit right above the ground and throw out bears just like that, and he should be able to keep Fox Fox's pressure just at bay. If now, he can space him well. Did Muck just counterpick uh, Pokemon Stadium? Because that's like the Fox stage, low ceiling. Why would he do that? Yeah, sort of. Um, he might be just really comfortable on this stage, like, uh, but he's gonna get killed probably four times with enough smash. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it probably would not good to pick, you know, like any other stage. This is one of the lowest ceilings in the game. Definitely. Uh, I would assume Sean banned uh, Dreamland, which would be my first choice as Jilly Buff. Um, so I'm sure that's where he banned. But yeah, here, you know, he could have gone to another pretty larger stage, maybe Final Destination or something. But we'll see how it works out. Yeah, like I said, the dreams. He might be really comfortable with this stage, so we'll see. Yeah, maybe he has some uh, secret setups on the transformations. Oh, okay. Oh, really? 
see what he can do. But, I mean, Maybe he can make something with these platforms, throw them up on them, read the tech, and then get a rest off that. He's doing uh, fairly well right now, like he's keeping, he's got him a good percentage, he can easily kill him pretty soon if he just knocks him off and then gets a good edge guard. Ooh, or just all forward smash. smash. But, uh, Jigglypuff is not known for the strong forward huh. smash for the game. We're gonna have Throws a, him off stage. We're gonna have a cliff fight right here. Oh, it goes for the forward smash, gets him. That was good. Bad sweet spot by Sean. But... Now, probably. I expect him to hide on the other side of that rock cliff tunnel in his transformation. Yeah. I guess it does favor him because it's less flat for Fox. He's fallen down a bit low, gotta get that distance back up, makes it back to the stage. Down throw. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get something off the down throw, but I don't know if he can get anything off it. Uh, and then up smash that's two times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, low ceiling, he's gonna get even with DI, so. I'd expect to see every kill from Fox off the top. Like, really. <laughs> oh, Ooh. and Sean is Finger flub. Ease. Sending him out yes. the bottom. Definitely unfortunate. Getting the tech chase. Around. He's, not, he's having a hard time tech chasing him right now, but, um... Looking for him. Oh, oh, he went for it. He's just not gonna, gonna get that, and that's gonna cost him the stock on a stage like this. Oh, he survived. That was I think really uh, percentage, but... I think Sean missed one laser there. <laughs> one more laser, <laughs> I think, would have gotten that out. That one more percentage would but, have, uh, uh, not have done it. But... I guess that's something to learn for sure, is your percentages on Jigglypuff kills Definitely. on a stage like this. Wow. Jump cancelled up smash, gonna send him out. Yeah, and we have, you know, Fox definitely can use the gun. And that's another thing that Sean said he's gonna work on, is just like, as a camping. He doesn't do that enough, he's just all, all out, just like that. Well, he's like, getting he, some lasers in there, it gets a solid 10% off those. Get, yeah, it's free percentage, basically. Like, uh, Jigglypuff's got good movement, which is all about spacing, so you can laser camper. Mm -hmm. and he's having trouble doing the lasers up. So. Alright, send him off stage. Jigglypuff down to their last stock, and rest is not an option anymore, not for, uh, this stock of Fox will come back and uh, get the kill. Oh, he gets it, but he's oh gets sent off the top. Star KO. That's gonna give him enough time to cover. He doesn't get any punish off it. Fox could have uh, di down into the side, gotten sent out the edge, and he would have made it back in time. But it's not gonna matter. He comes back, gets a nice up smash, send him out. So yeah, uh, you know your average Fox uh, Jigglypuff match. Well, that was good. You know, good stuff from both of them. Buck did really well. I mean. Besides the besides the SD on Sean's bar, he took them took their socks off him, so that's uh that's yeah. good on him. It's all stuff. <laughs> Sean's shaking his head even. <laughs> Alright, uh so let's see what we got on right now. Is it Buck a second time or no? Uh, oh, no, uh no J Dog. Yeah, J Dog. And a newcomer here, I think. Is that I think his name's Jacob if I uh his name right. Does anyone, can you confirm can you pull that? Pull up the bracket. Jacob, the guy. Can we see the bracket? Uh, who's playing? Who's playing? Well, let's see. We've got, uh... It's J-Dog and... I don't know if he's even playing oh, as J-Dog. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wait a minute, am I too far that way? They might be losers. J-Dog versus Justin. Justin. Alright, we I found close, it. Dude. All right, so Justin. Found the match. And now I can look at, uh... Who am I up against next? Oh, oh, we're, uh, oh my right, we're gosh, we're in game He's going Ganon against, uh, against Samus, it should be fun. Oh uh, yeah, we've got uh, J-Dog going, he, he said he would go Ganon, he said he might even go Roy in the match. He's I he's think, more of a PM player, he I says. I think uh, 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 J-Dog is Ganon, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, for sure. Alright, we're gonna get the stream, but, uh, get the stream working right now. We have uh, Justin for getting to take off the tag, so he's playing his mock now. <laughs> but gets, ooh, man, Ganon elbow, sends him almost off the top. We're gonna be looking oh, for a good, ooh, he's looking for these floaters, fishing for them, and it's only gonna take one to end this stock. Oh, he's trying to style him. No punish off him. Oh, he really got yourself off, but... <coughs> See what get, he's really got, he, you know, he's just gotta dodge, he's gotta dodge the projectiles, but other than that, he's just one hit away from getting a kill. Yeah. There it is. Nice forward air. Um, Good out there. So we'll see, we'll see how uh, this match ends up going. But now, I think it doesn't take Ganon that many hits to rack up, you know, 40, 50, 60 percent. Uh, I know his uh, up smash alone does like 20 per hit. It's That's ridiculous. True. And his, uh, his down air, his stomp will do 18 percent. So, you know, he's got. Oh! Gets hit by that though. Yeah. Thinking his ledge invincibility would keep him safe, but uh, looks like the 
the shot connected with the back of him as it was moving through. Definitely, he just timed it wrongly. You, you can't try to roll through that because as soon as you come off the ledge, like that hitbox on that uh, on that charge shot is huge. So as soon as you come off the ledge, you're just going to get hit by it if you're inside. Oh, oh and this I isn't a PM. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> He's a PM player. He's saying that should have grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> The dangers oh, of man. Project Melee. <laughs> that was All a right. great, uh, Ooh, great projectile cancel good. by him. Jumping uh, up air, gonna yeah, intercept it. Definitely, good forward air. Yeah. Out, trying to charge the power. Shot. Down to nice. Coming out up to oh, oh. Fires a missile in the other direction. What's his game? So this is pretty close. It's pretty close right now. Um, <laughs> What is, think, what yeah, are Jade, these uh, stylish moves? J Dog's having some fun right now because yeah, he's throwing out like some up bees trying to catch him. Uh, <laughs> air dodging, or spot dodging. Oh man, this is not fair though. Ooh, he didn't go for the stomp, gonna I see? Assume. Oh, oh. He again. Come on, get it. <laughs> he's just like. He's like outplaying himself right now. That's yeah, all that's going on. <laughs> that's a good way of putting that. <laughs> trying to get a backwards U.A. And not of course, happening. Sam is one of those characters that just lives forever. So yeah. maybe that's all uh, Jacob's got to. Jake, <laughs> Justin, Justin. Justin. Maybe that's all Justin's got to pull out. Wait Hopefully. long enough, and uh, the Ganon will take himself out. Survive and not kill himself, and he'll just win by default. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Every, every time he goes every near the edge, goes, every time he's that's off the stage, scary I'm stuff. A, every time he's off the stage, I'm a little worried. Not afraid of using that side view, though. Ooh, oh, gets the jab. Ooh. Oh, he's oh, looking, looking for it. Forward. See if he'll be able to... Uh, Get some up airs, oh, nice. keeping him off the stage and racking up damage. Oh, oh. oh man. He was, trying, he was trying to read it. <laughs> wow, good spot dodge, but doesn't get anything off it. Throwing out that uh, that kick. Oh, charge oh. shot. Oh, but he's gonna he get punched it. in the face. Samus can make it back though. Oh no! No, get on the ledge. Not right oh. here. <laughs> get on the ledge, dude. Samus could use some uh, some of those bombs to make it back. Definitely. Either that, or he could have gone low and done an air dodge to grab him. But you know. He's got a good Roy. He's pulling out the Roy. Oh my gosh. I think, you know, he's got a. He should be able to do it. ready for the noodle sword. He should be able to do it as long as he doesn't kill himself. He has an SD enough. We'll see. Hits him with the sweet spell sword, though. 20%. We'll see. Yeah, dude. That M sword is coming out. Really coming out right now. They see if he was marked, that sort of uh, well, hit him for the kill. Turn around neutral B, but. But you're blowing <laughs> Not something up. Not marked. Mark. Gotta enjoy the uh, right, colors on this play so, the red uh, Roy versus the purple Samus. These are just characters, colors you don't normally see. They can send them out. Not really. Yeah, you don't see the purple Samus very often. Uh, and other than that, you don't see Roy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any color Roy. Uh, you need to do more. He's more wave dash. He's playing the Roy pretty solidly, getting up damage, hitting him with the good spot of the sword. He's a, yeah. Oh, nice spot dodge. He's got some good spot dodges. Like, he can definitely read him, but uh, he's not getting, he's got to then punish. Like, you do a spot dodge, you got to turn around and like, do something. So. J Dog wow. bringing the entertaining matchups into this. Uh, definitely. Like, this. At least uh, stream. At least the stream will get a, uh, a good show out of it, dude. Yeah. Uh, we're in, so I don't know if you're in Chico, uh, A, Turtle 16, uh, yeah, Chico, California, we're, so I don't know if you're in town, but, uh, we're kind of north Chico, so, yeah, let us know if you're in town, because we're always looking for more people. If you are in Chico, be sure to check out the, uh, Chico Smash Bros. group, Facebook group, that's where we, uh, talk about our FD Fridays going on. <laughs> yeah, why not just play Marth? Like, it's the uh, same matchup, but, uh, you know, it's got the exact same mechanics and everything. You're just actually able to kill people. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And he's having, uh, he's having trouble closing our stocks. Look at this. It's 135, and he had a semi charge oh, and he misses that smash. But that up smash definitely got something over uh, Marth's up smash. 
Definitely. No, he doesn't have, I mean, the hitbox is in the center, so it's too. It's easier to hit, I think, and he's got the multi-hit. That will makes that just makes it easier. But. Carries the up since the top. So. Alright, trying to space these uh, forward airs, but once again, not Marth. No, not Marth. And he's got, he has horrible forward movement speed, so he just, he short hops and then he can't get close enough to actually hit the, uh, to get the good hit off it. Oh, the up Is he even gonna punish? Send him back and forth across the stage. He's really got to work up the damage before that uh, Noodle Sword is going to send him out. Definitely. Like, he's having a really hard time actually getting... Ooh. That's a great charge shot. Yeah, he's covering the edge with the shot. Yeah, good timing on that by Justin. Like, Justin's doing really well. Like, we haven't talked about him at all, but he's, uh, you know, going stock for stock with them, so... Yeah, we've been so uh, hyped up about this Roy. We're, no, like, Roy. talking about Roy the whole match. This yeah, is doing the uh, work. Seriously, we don't see any Roys, and so we'll never see we're going to talk about him, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, like, cr tilt. crouch cancel down tilt, that's uh, basically what he's been doing the whole time, that's another one. And, you know, right now, Justin, he's got, you know, he doesn't doesn't look like he's got much uh, tech skill at all, you know, but he can work on it. I, I see him, like, you know, coming back and he comes out every once in a while and can actually be pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm wishing uh, J-Dog make a lot of use of these uh, neutral bees in the air to cover his approach, you know, it, it, it's... It's good, it covers a wide arc in front of him. It really does. Got a lot of options. Yeah. Once again, something Marth could do better, probably. So much better. But, uh, I don't know if Marth can do better than that right there. You should be off the top, and then that's the end of the, that's the, end of the match, so we'll see who's going to be playing on next week. We've had, like, quite a few games going now, so I don't know who we'll have on stream, but... How many people there are? 20 in the tourney right now. Um, uh, Alright, I'm gonna look and see if I can grab a glass of water right here, because right, it. it is required for commentary. Yeah, 15. Very good number. Um, yeah. Roy doing some work. Um, yeah, there's 20 people in this tourney. This is actually the biggest turnout we've had to date. We usually have, we've had 16 man tourneys the past couple games, the past couple times we've done this, but uh, this one's a good turnout. It's getting kind of cramped here. Waiting to see who we're gonna get on the stream right now. Who's, who's up next? Board issue. Yeah. Let's do Sean Tucker. Yes. Sean Tucker. All right. This is a this is a match that you guys are gonna be in for. <laughs> Tuck's played like. Tuck's played like two games total today. He's not warmed at all, but this is a good match. You're going to see Sean Tuck. Sean uh, would win. Sean would usually go at least a grand finals in most of the tourneys that we had, and then Tuck came out and like really gave him a run for his money, so this is a good match. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one to see. I wonder who we're going to see. Like, Sean is most likely going to go as Fox. That's who he's been playing lately. He's been working on that Fox. He might pull out a Marth if he feels in the end. Maybe. I don't know if he's going yeah, to go Fox. I don't know if he feels comfortable about it, but we're going to see Tux Jacob buff. Um, All right, critical Rochambeau going down. Tucker's <laughs> no going to take it. Yeah, Tuck has, he's got no excuses on this one. But, <laughs> let's see, uh, Tuck is, he's going with his Jacob buff. We would play, we had some Smash Fest where we just, because we have no, like over here in Chico, who we've been playing the last few times, we have no Puff knowledge. Like, Tuck is the only Puff player we've had, he's only been here for a week. We had a, an, another Puff player, a Peach Puff player, played both, who came uh, for one one day here. Maybe he'll make it back sometime. Yeah, alright, so we're getting into it. Uh, I think Sean's probably going to try to work on his laser cam game, because he needs a rack of damage and then just run in Huff's uh, yeah. Smash. Looks like right now he's working these uh, neutral air approaches and... It's, it's getting percent, but it's not getting anything yeah, too much. Definitely. Neutral air is a it's really safe approach. It's like, it's his bread and butter, basically. It's neutral air to shine, um, and he tries to combat on that. But it's also just a really safe move. 
So. No, he's got a slight percent lead right now, but one or two moves could change that. Really even match so far. Definitely. They're just going blow for blow at the moment. Uh, throwing out a raw smash. Uh, Tuck was saying, you know, to make Jake, to keep Jake's honest, you know, so she, he's not just pushing buttons, just throw out enough smashes and everything. Where you might be able to catch her in the air once in a while. Wow. Good forward smash going to send him out. This pup is not a... Not doing any of that air carrying stuff, carrying him out of the stage. He's just gonna forward smash him right out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see what uh, Sean can pull out against this pop. Uh, Good forward smash connecting, but it's 50, gonna take enough smash to get the kill, probably. Send him off the stage using lasers to rack up a bit more damage. Every percent counts against uh, a character that lives a long time, like Pop. And that falling up there is going to send him out the top. So, did really well to take that stock. He only took 17, 7%, but um, side B gives uh, 13, so... Now we're yeah. back to a close to even game. I think Sean probably has to try to protect himself a little bit more, because like I said, he just pushes buttons. Like, he'll go in, he'll go in, and uh, there he goes. Yeah, he's getting a good spacing game on him right now. I know Sean to... certainly has the potential to win this match. I know he has the game knowledge necessary. It's just going to be whether he can... Uh, bring that to use and channel that into Definitely. his controller, into his character, and take advantage of this, uh... Definitely. Uh, everything you can get. We'll see if he gets edge. spacing going. Oh, very nice. Front page of Smashboard stream, so right. we can get a lot, of, a lot of people in this. It's a uh, game time for Sean and Tech. Like, yeah. And I expect this match coming down to, like, last stock, last hit scenario. Yeah. I don't know if you are feeling it, too, Definitely, but... You know, that's probably what's going to happen, you know. That's uh, what I see happening. Sean is looking... I mean, he's doing really well. He's got great movement, great spacing, so... Um, Sean, or as, as he's uh, going by this tournament. Right, he's not using his uh, tag right now, but... So, he looks like he's in the zone, you know. He doesn't have... He doesn't have a whole lot of percentage on Puff, like Puff can easily kill him right now. It, Ooh, with the dash attack. And no DI for Sean, but... Was that no DI or was that bad DI? He, sent, he went down. Maybe he tried to tech off the stage, but... Nice tech, nice tech chase, and Ooh. just an up smash. Ooh, 75%, so yeah. Good up smash, gonna take Tucker down to his last stock. Alright, so Tuck's gonna do some work. Oh, oh there it is. Gets and, the he just, and he just ties it up right there, like Start if he was out. down... If he was down at all, he just... And you know... Getting the uh, first up throw rest, or first uh, rest that you get in a puff match, just sets a precedent, and it makes the other Spacey really, really afraid, because uh, they know that one grab could end them. Definitely, and uh, Sean's got a... He's got a DI that, like, it's an easy... Uh, it's an easy rest if he doesn't DI it, yeah. so... That was another thing. It's I'm not impossible if he does. Up throws come out from both characters. Oh, no... Ooh, see, that's, that's, a a that's a DI. Solid DI. DI's the DI. other way. Mixing it up, changing it up. Yeah, it's not going to be red. He's looking for an up right smash, right. looking for an up air. We'll see what we get. That's a great movement coming out. Yeah, he's just going to throw out some up oh, smashes. But he can't just throw oh. these out, or maybe he can. Ooh. Shades of mango H box right there with the reeds, <laughs> hard reeds. <laughs> Sean liked that though. <laughs> Game one. It was Sean, for Az. That's not nice. It's just on stream control. I don't see the Wizard of Az. We're going to uh, Fountain. This is a good stage for Jake Lane. Great stage for Pup. It's got, you know, far edges. It's got a kind of small stage, so Fox doesn't have that much area to run around. Definitely, yeah. If you can limit Fox's movement... Uh, yeah, Sean with the first one. If you can limit Fox's movement, he definitely struggles a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, now yeah. Tuck's actually... He's got to put the pressure on him, too, so we'll see if he can do this. Draken... Uh, <laughs> Draken wants Tuck to stop sucking ass. <laughs> Alright. Really Assisted SD, I suppose. <laughs> really unfortunate for Sean right there, but uh, yeah, he'll have to stop killing himself. So that's I guess. gonna give a uh, stock lead to the Puff, and the Puff is gonna look for a rest to make it two stock lead. Maybe up here, nah. Not quite. Has enough time to jump out of it. 
He's looking for these up airs though, whether it's out of an up throw or not. I might be able to edge cut him right now. She grabs a ledge, good, good way to run up on back. There you go. But up smash can end this time. Just a run up up smash, yeah. He'll get quite a few of those on this one. You know, on any uh, stage really will, but... So John's doing some pretty good movement. Um, I wonder if Echo and Drew they, is uh, coming from the fact that this mic's over here. It's probably picking up on both. Let's see if I can just kind of like hang back. Oh yeah, that's possible. Maybe. You probably like we'll have to turn down like the gain on your mic or something. Like that. Yeah. We'll have to do it later. Like we didn't get to we didn't get to work too much on the stream. Like, we had to get it real set up real fast, but and that we should be good. Let's back to the match. Uh, I think Sean might need to quit dash attacking. Ooh, back air. He's gonna make it back to the stage, but eats a uh... dash attack for the kill. Uh, so Tuck's doing really well again. Uh, oh, rest! Ooh. There we go. Up, up till rest. So rest gets him a two stock lead. Gets up and that out. Make that to, a uh, yeah, one he was stock lead. Able to DI it off the side of the stage, so he didn't take the star KO and he was able to come back and just push yeah. up. But so Sean's got to he's got to protect himself. Like any, any uh, nice any percentage that he takes is gonna be bad news for him. So he's just gotta he's gotta go in. Oh oh, oh. good DI on it. He's gotta he's gotta go in and get some percentage down on him and then get a kill. He's definitely playing a little bit more passive, that dash attack. Yeah, trying to be defensive here, but, uh, you know, Fox isn't a character that you should play defensive with. No. His MO is to go in and take your stocks. That's true. He had a weak hit on that up smash, he would have taken that stock and he got the full sweet spot hitbox. Oh, dude. He just needs one good hit on Puff. He went for a run up up smash, but didn't get it. Puff's just gonna grab ledge, take that. So Tuck takes the game too. Uh, pretty convincingly, I think two stocked him. But Sean has deep, I think, ones at least. So, um, yeah. where's he gonna take him? So we've got a. Uh, straight into final games. FD, I'm wondering why he didn't uh, take him to the stadium. Um, it's, uh, you know, this is a really good stage for him because. Uh, Fox combos horizontally alongside the stage, so, uh... Well, right now he's getting, uh, he's getting himself comboed yeah. by this pop. And I think he also probably did it for the, uh, space, so he can make some space, uh... Use those lasers. Definitely use lasers, rack up some damage, and then get a good approach, because he was having tr real trouble approaching him last time. It's true, I mean, Fox is so much faster than Puff, I might... All he has to do is run side to side, shoot those lasers, you know. Uh, that was a good uh, Definitely, yeah. I mean, the edge guards, the edge guards on Fox are really easy for Jacob Puff. Her recovery is ridiculous, but... Sean's getting, uh, really good pressure by Tuck right now. Ooh. Oh, almost had the jab reset. Tuck is in the zone, dude. Like, after that first game, he's just been, uh... Sean's looking for what he can do to bring it back, though. Yeah. Ooh, but just getting walled out by Puff's moves. Two stocks down, we'll see if he can turn it up a notch and get himself back in this game. Dash dancing. Ooh, for the shine spike. Tuck, Tuck played off the side of the stage for a little bit too long. Missing the air dodge onto that. the stage, yeah. Nice. I mean, he just needs a good uh, the shine spike or two once Puff's off the stage. Good, uh, to really uh, make Puff run out of those jumps, you gotta get like a double shine spike thing going on. Yeah. Air dodge, he's scared of that rest. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing a good good job, job tech chasing off his down throws. Um, off stage, gets back to the stage quickly. It's dangerous for Fox to be out there. So, uh, just kind of the neutral game right now. They're gonna try to get in on one another, but like I said, Sean's being really careful with his approaches right now. He's just making sure he's going to get in and not get, uh, 
you know, combo for a couple damage. <laughs> Takes a forward smash. He's really looking for those up smashes, though, perhaps a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. He should uh, just focus on playing solid in the game like he did in the first game, because he's definitely got it in him. Oh, man, this buff is going for those rests, though, looking for that setup. But you know what? He doesn't need it. He can just stack up a billion damage. He's got three stocks. He can stack up damage. And eventually, he'll get a strong hit. Definitely. Oh, man. Oh, and that's going to be it. Good job. Good games by both of them. That was pretty good. Uh, Tuck definitely showing some new life after that first game. He's just able to clutch out games two and three. Uh, good on both of them. But Tuck's looking tired after that. Like, I mean, playing Sean's Fox is really uh, taxing. So, you know, <laughs> it's really tough for him. But that was good games on both of them. So that was a good set. I definitely enjoyed that one. So, see who we are going next. Uh, who we got next? Oh, uh, Tuck one. 2-1. Oh, oh man. Nick We're playing against Nick, Nick on stream, Nick. so oh, no. should be fun. Yeah. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> See? Uh, so, Nick, Peter, uh, so, yeah, Nick's getting on. Uh, Nick plays... A really aggressive Falco. He plays uh, definitely really well. So say, and Peter plays a good, uh, Peter plays a good cheek. We'll see how they do. But um, Nick's Falco pressure is really difficult to deal with. He's just kind of really tough. He's like all over you the entire time. And that's Falco's just really hard for Sheik to deal with anyway. Yeah, he is. Uh, Sheik's got some good. He's got some good guaranteed combos on him. Like you know, you do have tilt and fair. Yeah. But he, he's probably gonna have some trouble. It's on. hard to get in on a, a Falco. You just you're under a constant barrage, and there's not much she can do except for wait for the Falco to slip up an owl cancel, and then take advantage of that and punish as hard as possible. That's the only way to take care of it. That's all you can do, because yeah, Falco's going to control the whole game. He's going to control the neutral game. He's going to have combos going. He's got to wait until he just like, screws up. So. And Sheik needs to make sure that when he gets the Falco off the, the map, that he edge guards. Yeah. Edge guards hard. Edge guards have to be on point. Like, Peter loves the down smash actually works really well against uh, Falco. Peter loves his down smash. That's his favorite edge guarding move. So uh, we'll see how this works. But. Yeah, he's already getting his shine pressure going. Yeah, jeez. Shine pressure's tough to deal with, but Nick actually looks... He's missing some button inputs. He looks a little bit, uh... Looks a little bit cold hands, maybe. I am yeah, surprised just, he got hit by that fair at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, he's just forward air. Like, I think Nick's gonna play a little bit slow until he, uh, actually gets warmed up, because... He's missing some of his button inputs, just some execution errors, but uh, quick first stock, you know, we're uh, 40 seconds into the game, so... Yeah, that was fast, and it really just showed his dominance. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna get, like, lasers are also really difficult for Sheik to deal with. It's just really hard to approach on, the, on a laser game like that. Sheik right. should be more on the, I mean, trying to be defensive, but there's, it's really hard. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nick's doing really well. Like, he's already starting to get his, uh, he's getting his combo game going already. He might have guard this. Good, good job getting back on the stage, but... Get it from off fast. Good job. Oh, nice. He's, he's got to get the edge guard. Oh, there Quite we go. Oh, oh, no. He's still going. He's keeping alive. Like, good That's job. That's good. Oh. Nice. There we go, yeah. Great job by Peter. He kept that combo alive even after missing, you know, that first fair. He's really good at staying on him. It's a little bit easier to edge guard Falco than it is Fox, too. Yeah, definitely. Which is uh, something that Sheik has going for in this matchup. Ooh, he should have waited that out, but... A Zelda transformation could have saved him there. Could have, but yeah. Uh, I think Nick probably would have taken the stop because she was too far out to do the Zelda transformation, but uh, we could have had the jab reset on it, but we missed it. Wow, some good, really good shine pressure. Oh, there we go, some combos. Yeah, he's the edge guard. Uh, uh, he's it. There we go. Nice. Nice bear. Edge guard, there we go. Oh, oh, he could have. 
And I stopped going high. Like, it was a good mix up. It's hard like, in the moment to just realize what you should have done, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, hindsight's 20 20. Like, you look back, you're like, oh, I should have fared in that yeah. position, but it's just hard to do it. Nice kill by Peter. Yeah, Peter's getting, he's getting a needle game going, which is good because uh, it's just a projectile that Falco has some trouble dealing with. But. Well, needles will mix up his barrage too, throw off his momentum. That's like the needles' best purpose, in my opinion, is you just interrupt the momentum of, of the other player. Yeah, definitely. And when you know when, oh, ooh, almost had a good dash card. These are almost into up smash, but he's playing pretty pretty passive right now. He's just not going for the kill. He's gonna make Peter approach him. Um, which is really bad for Sheik, and yeah, tries yeah. to approach him, the shield to bear. Well, that was a good game by Peter, like, uh, it was a good job taking the two stocks off of him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Had some really good, really good finishes on it, like, he got a really good combo game into some finisher moves, so as long as he can just keep that going, uh, try to, try to deal with the laser pressure, maybe, he'll have, he's got a pretty, he's got a good, good shot, so. Oh, <laughs> he forgets to transform, but. Yeah, I feel like I'm surprised. Is this a good stage for, uh, for Sheik? Or do you like this stage on Sheik? Uh, if, if I'm going against a floaty character, I like this stage on Sheik. Yeah. Anything other than that, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of this yeah. stage. This is my personal favorite stage on Falco. Like, I think the platforms are at a perfect height on this combo game. It, Sheik is a perfect weight for Falco's combo game, too. So, uh, like, I probably wouldn't have taken Nick to this stage. Um, as a Sheik at least, but because this is just a good stage for Falco, I think. Well, the, you know, the drop zone for Falco is pretty threatening in this stage. That's true. But, I mean, that's the only disadvantage I can see. Yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe Battlefield would... Battlefield's like, what do you mean? Oh, he's gotta get the edge guard. Uh, can't get on glitch fast enough. How do you feel about Battlefield for Falco? Battlefield's still pretty good. You know, platforms in general are really good for Falco, but I think that'd be probably an even stage. I just really like this stage on him because Battlefield, the weird, uh, you know, you've got the single, the ledges that are a little bit harder to sweet spot. Yeah. You can definitely ride the side of the stage with his upbeat, so it just helps on, helps with his recovery, kind of. So those are two things that uh, I like about this stage on the Battlefield. And platform height, because platform height is a little bit different on, than on Battlefield. It's a little less, uh... They're less spaced out, so it's yeah. easier It's easier to combo from one platform to the other. Yeah, so. and that, I think that's why I like Battlefield. It's, it, it feels perfect for Sheik's combos. Yeah, because, uh... Oh, nice. Oh, oh! oh. Edge good. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, execution error by Nick, but we'll take that. Peter uh, has no shame in that. <laughs> Air dodge, but he was able to catch him. Alright, so Nick's got a stock lead on him right now. Um, he's gonna make him approach again, like he's gonna do the same thing. But, uh, he can definitely use the platforms to try to get away from the laser pressure. It'll probably be something he wants to do. Just controlling it, really. Uh -oh, nice, good read. Turn around. <laughs> he gets hit by that again. He needs. Oh! That should, it could have been a down smash to maybe take the stock off. Ooh. Randall causing some crazy shit to happen yeah. there. Randall will mess up your uh, ledge grabs and everything. And that's the game. Yep. Good job, Nick. But Peter's doing really well. Like He's still doing really good cheat games. So as long as he's got to keep it up, keep practicing and everything. Yep. Nick, like I said, is just a really good player in general. Yeah. So he's tough to deal with. Alright. So we had. Uh, Nick 2-0 on that one. Tucker Rome next on stream. So I don't know if you guys have seen Rome, well, unless you watched our past ones. Uh, Rome's a good song player that we have every, uh, every tournament here. So he actually, uh, he likes the Falco matchup. He thinks it goes really good in uh, Thomas' favor. I kind of agree with him. Uh, Offstage missiles are really are good to, um, it's really good to, 
cover as long as it's recovery, and it's really helpful for Falco's recovery too. Like it's tough to deal with that as a Falco if he can bring space to the missiles right. And how about the floatiness of Samus? Does that uh, does that help Falco or does that hurt Falco? It hurts Falco. He can't combo very fast, but Tuck may be going with his Falcon, so that might not even. Uh, Maybe he's just doing uh, some button warm ups. Just be jumping on stage. Yeah, he's just, he's just gonna pound on a CPU right, right now. I think uh, Tuck might go. Probably actually goes Fox Knight, I think, about it. So, Rome is number three in the seed, and Tucker is number seven. Is he number seven? I thought it was higher than that. I thought, like, let's see, we got the seed right here. Uh, so, Nick's one. Oh, Tucker, Tucker is seven. And Rome is three. Yeah, you're right. So it goes Nick, Sean. So Rome is uh, seed-wise. He's ahead. Um, but I think we only have it that way because Tucker's only been to one tournament. Yeah. And uh, Rome's been every one of them here. So, who's he? Who's your favorite for this matchup? Character-wise, or who's the favorite to win? Uh, both. Um, let's see who he goes. He's gonna go. I wanna see who Tucker goes. Um, you know, this is tough actually, because I don't know if I've ever seen them play before. Yeah, I don't think I have either, but I know they're both really good players. Yeah, so. and I definitely know that Rome can, you know, take games off of Big and Sean, so, uh, it's gonna be, it'll be a good match. Like, I'm, uh, I'm excited to see this. Uh, okay, so he's gonna go Puff, so I honestly don't know who's got the upper hand in this matchup. I would assume Puff. Well, yeah, uh, that is Tucker's best. His Jigglypuff is very hard to deal with, I know, firsthand. Definitely. But Rome Simmons is also very hard to deal with. Yeah. Oh, oh and an early rest. 15, not yeah. even 10 seconds in. Definitely a good punish by, um, by Tucker on that. Roams, he's trying to cancel missiles, but he keeps a missile right in front of the edge. That'd be good, like, using the, using the missiles is a, definitely a good decision for, uh, for Samus. And you're gonna see a lot of down smashes from Samus, too. You're gonna see a lot of uh, crouch cancel down smashes, probably. What about this level? This is pretty even for both of them? I've... They're both gonna live for a long time. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> Yeah, crush cancel down smash. You gotta be really careful on that, especially when find Rome. Like, that's a. Uh, Ooh. Are these still going? Nice. Yeah. He's gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see some pretty interesting edge guards, edge guard attempts on this one. Cause it's just gonna be, cause they're both gonna come back almost every time we see blasts on them, so it's gonna be an edge guard opportunity every time. So Jigglypuff's just gonna be looking for that rest opportunity as often as possible. Yeah, definitely. It'll be tough because, because Samus is floating, like, none of her, like, none of her, up, none of her throws are probably gonna combo into it, so. Nice way. Damn, that was a really good uh, grapple recovery by him. Yeah, maybe those those missiles are actually. We're gonna play next soon. Yeah. Looks like Jiggly can actually just cancel missile, cancel the missiles with a fail, uh, which is gonna prove pretty tough for Rome on that aspect. But he's got Jigglypuff in high percentages. Is the game's still pretty even. Yeah, no, he definitely brought that stock back because he had an early rest where uh, Jigs was at like 17% in the beginning. So well, yeah, it was 10 seconds in. 10 seconds in, 17% rest. So he brought it back. He's only at a 40% on this stock now, so he's doing really good. Definitely. <laughs> he's doing really good just racking up damage and getting a good kill move. Um, projectile camp is going to be a good thing. Because Jigs likes to stay in the air, and Rome's just gonna shoot a missile, just kind of slightly off the ground, and he'll probably be able to catch Jigs pretty, pretty often with it. So down smashes are really looks like uh, looks like having some trouble with that. Let's see if we can. 
16 inch third from low. Oh man, Damn. see, I'm telling you, like, neither of them, neither of them have been able to get a real convincing edge guard on one another. Like, we both have two difficult recoveries to do, but damn, Rome is just on point with these recoveries right now. Like, he's hitting all his grapples. Yeah, sweet spotting, good job. Shut up, Nair. Can't, he can no longer crouch cancel his uh, tux move, so that crouch cancel down smash isn't gonna work for him, probably. Oh, that's yeah, back air. Uh, Sarush says, Sarush says the matchup is actually in Samus' favor, so I mean, oh, it looks yeah. like I think we're seeing that firsthand right now. He's doing really well on it, but he's also playing on point. <laughs> and just, there we go, makes it even. Tux showing how to use invincibility frames for real. He's gonna have to uh, like project projectile cam spacing and some crouch cancel down smashes, and he's gonna he can probably pull the game out. Yeah, he's got his projectiles. He's got his project missile canceling. Yeah, Jigglypuff's lack of projectiles is really hurting her in this fight. Yeah, she can uh, approach on him, and he's just gonna keep throwing those missiles and some charge shots and see if he can. Oh, and he nails him with this. If he had been in some higher percentages, that probably would have killed cross stage. Nice. Nair is also really difficult. Like, Nair is a high priority move for Samus, so um, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Tuck would be able to challenge that with any of his aerials. Oh, he goes deep. He goes deep. He's up. Oh, oh just letting him back on stage. Oh, oh and that's the game. Poke, shield poke missile. It Zabel looks just like Samus did have a slight advantage. There. That was that was a very close game, though. Oh, shout out to Samus. Never mind. So Sarush doesn't know what he's talking about. I guess. So. <laughs> We've got some graphics on on cam now, for him, so. So he's gonna go back to his fox. Yeah, he's gonna pull out his fox. He's gonna get fox. So yeah. do like his fox is really, really good. Yeah, he's got definitely good tech skill on him. Huge pressure, huge pressure with his fox. Yeah, which is difficult for a Samus to deal with. Yeah, um, but he's gonna hopefully try to do the same thing he did against his Jinx, just missile camp, and uh, then get a good, a good safe approach. Some down smashes, uh, be able to take Fox right off the stage. I'd like to see Fox incorporate the shine and launch back some of those big charge shots. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to see. Yeah, it's really funny because it's just kind of like you don't see it happen very often. And it's just uh, okay, uh, pushing, put him right back in some of face. A lot of fun. Oh, Grady and I? Alright, uh, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, I need another. Under the commentator, but um, I'm about to go play a match against Grady right now. So, let's see this. Alright, uh, we're going to jump on the mic. Alright. What's going on, stream? Who? <laughs> it seems like Fox is definitely better against this Samus than Jigglypuff was. Yeah, I feel like Fox is probably a better choice. Because yeah. the thing is, Jigglypuff really excels against people who, like, fall fast, fast fallers or whatever. And then, against the Samus, she's heavy, but she's still super floaty. So, she kind of has that advantage there. When the projectiles seem like a lot for Jigglypuff to deal oh. with, but Fox has an answer to the projectiles. Absolutely, yeah. Jigglypuff always has like trouble approaching, but once you can't get in, like get in there, and fuck and you. You gotta up. watch out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fox is definitely working for him. Seems that way. Stage selection is also in favor of the Fox. Yeah. Samus is not able to float as far off. Exactly, the last zones are a little smaller. Yeah. Not able to recover from deep with that ridiculous tether. 
Oh, good wave dash out of Shine. That Followed up nice. really well. Nice sex kick, another one. Coming in with it. Those neutral airs for days. Seriously. Ooh. Oh, and takes him out. He answers back with his own neutral air. Oh, I thought that was it. Completely honest, not sure what just happened. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got on the stage, that's all that matters. Ooh, Ooh good nice jab. Nice jab. On wall one, one up smash is all this fox needs. This game is not over yet. Exactly. It's anyone's game. <laughs> By oh, anyone I mean foxes, nice but you know. What is that, 1-1? One, one? It's 1-1. One, one. That is 1-1. One, one. So it looks like we're going to the final ball. The ultimate showdown. Yeah, it looks like he's going to stick with the fox choice. Smart decision. <laughs> I mean, it's, it worked better than his Jigglypuff, so... Definitely. Station 2? Uh, J-Dog Man, Station 2. Station 2. Ooh, a little early on the up tilt. Oh, but read really well with the missile. You might come back again. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, thanks for coming. Later, dude. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Kick down. Hey guys. Samus seems to learn to have how to dealt with the fox a little better. Yeah. Interesting stake choice. Okay. Yeah, I would agree. I personally would have gone somewhere really high with a high blast zone. Right, like same. Dreamland. Found a dreams is a little small. Yeah. Again, I did choose Pokemon Stadium as Jigglypuff, so I don't really have any merit of uh, counterpicking stages. I was going for the home field advantage of what I was going for. We got 14 people viewing. Cute. I think last time we got hit a record of like 47. Wow. Yeah. During what? Melee or Project M? Uh, melee. Nice. Who'd you use? Oh yeah, holding down for shoot. Push this back. Like, yeah. There we go. Lobo? Regular expression. I literally just changed my major to computer science like last week, so come next year, I'm learning the code, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I went from a business major to that, so. Ooh. This battle is intense. Well, I mean, technically, I switched it to computer information systems, but. Nice edge guarding by Tucker here. Keeping Samus on the ropes. <laughs> I nice feel like, well, I mean, I was planning on switching it, like, because I meant to switch to computer Lakers. science, Never and then I actually switched to that, so I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so. he recovers from that. Oh, okay, that was... Nice forward smash. Oh, and takes another stock from Fox. This is a 1-3 match. If it's not red, then it's muted. Oh. Tucker's going to need to okay. go Super Saiyan for this. Okay. Oh, I guess it was during PM. Sorry, my bad. The, the 47 people. Nice. What can I say? PM gets people hype. Yeah. Ooh, good recovery with the side B. Up. Oh, nice not enough to kill. This is still anyone's game, really. Seriously. 
<laughs> I've seen plenty of comebacks from Foxes. Oh yeah. We, I mean, Fox has zero percent percent kills. Yeah. All he needs is one solid gimp, and the game's his, really. Yeah. Solid, solid good trailer to come in. That was a great recovery. He's too high Sanders. for the, uh, he's too high for the up throw up there. There we go. But I mean, not too high for a back air. Oh, solid. Oh, oh. Well, oh, that's and it. There, the up that's tilt. it. Solid game all around. That was a good game. Rome takes the win with Samus. Valiantly fought, Tucker. What? Valiantly fought. My Hello. fellow Sheik player. Hello. Yeah, we got the uh, <laughs> Sheik commentary deal. All right. <laughs> Sheik, uh, commentary How about that deal. down smash? <laughs> I just utilized that to uh, take Colby out of his bracket. But <laughs> down smash. Down favorite. smash for days. Also forward air. Also forward air. <laughs> 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 okay. What do we got going on here, though? Looks like we're waiting for the next stream match to go on. Rome won. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Rome won. All right. So. Yeah, is that, is that what did me in the matchup? We'll have to watch the video when we get it posted eventually, because, uh, Sometimes when you're in the game, it's like you're not really seeing these things. It's like, oh, this is what was really beating me. Hindsight's 2020. For sure, for sure. All right, so uh, we've got 13 people here, 13 viewers from all over. Oh yeah, we've got. <laughs> we've probably got like three or four viewers like in this room right now. <laughs> but uh, we got people viewing from all over. I'm sure. Where are some of our viewers from? Have you, stream, have you been enjoying these like sick animations that Colby's been making over the week where it like slides in with the characters and everything? They're awesome. Yeah, they're, they're so, so cool. cool. They're so cool. So cow. Japan. That's a lie. Fatal Con is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I believe that. You'll, you'll need to uh, back that up. Stockton. Okay. Okay. Glad we have people from all over. All over the world. <laughs> Apparently. Dude, the animations are so cool. So we try to play yeah, yeah, we're gonna go for them on. So Cal, hype! Alright, uh, this is, you know, in the meantime, you know, like, Zeta's ball. We were, like, waiting on the match, so they were going to switch out the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think we're waiting on a match to end before we get, uh, someone to get up here on stream. But, this should I'm gonna get up commentating now. someone more. Whoa, what are we doing? Nope. Is this, we're showing our trailer? Michael! Yeah. Alright. We have a little bit of downtime in our bracket, so we're showing this trailer. Sick trailer. Did you make it, Colby? Colby made this trailer. Our safe final destination Friday trailer. Oh man, he's on fire. Oh!
really close game. Everyone at very high percent. Any good hit will kill any player on the screen. And Red Marth has a chance. Oh, of Red Marth that was high. Everyone on screen. <laughs> Armada? Oh my god. Oh, nice. Nice meteor cancel. The reverse knee ledge hop when she go uh teleports on stage later bro where are we going fountain of dreams i can i can call out call me on it right now why why is it taking so long for these uh turn-in bots to get up on youtube there's a problem on twitch, They're on twitch. So okay just yeah. Um, He's, uh, he has Twitch Johns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's, he's typing it out now. Alright, so uh, on stream we have Nick sitting down. He's gonna provide some entertainment, taking out this bot. Taking out this. Uh, now he's practicing his tech skill. But he's also gonna kill the bot because he can do both at once. Ah, yeah. That was good. Good stuff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hop over to the better. Oh man, this is probably making a whole bunch of work for Colby having to change the names and everything since I just switched the microphone. But I wanted to be on the camera and I wanted to be here to commentate this match. We've got Nick versus Drew. This is going to be Falco Dittos, probably. And it's going to be some uh, cool stuff. I can't wait. Falco Dittos are like. It's like Fox Dittos, but. Yeah, that's what tricked me at first. A little bit different, I guess. Still an intense display of tech skill and fast play. Good stuff you want to see. Get hyped for this match. Here it goes. FD. Falco only. Alright, which one's which? I'll figure that out eventually. Shoot, I need to know which one is which comes with. I don't know which one. <laughs> Do you know which one's which? Who's who? Neither of them are using their tags. But, laser game going on, neutralized. Alright, player one is Nick, so that means uh, Nick is the blue Falco. And uh, Drew's the red Falco. And Drew's gonna be taking the first stop. Okay. So, Drew going in, getting those shines. Shining him up and down, killering. Nick trying to get an opening, but just not getting it. Getting shut down by the laser game from uh, Drew. Yeah, Drew playing solid. Putting up this damage. He's uh, really giving Nick the run for his money. I don't know if these two have uh, met in tournament before, but... I'm sure they have. I mean, they've been coming here for a while, so... Yeah. The Falco did us. Gosh, on Final mistaken. Destination, too. Nick usually gets the better, because I usually see Nick making it further in bracket, but right now... Okay, I've been informed, but the person who informed me <laughs> who was who was wrong, so we actually have 
Everything that I was saying about Nick, everything I was saying about Drew, just reverse it. We've got uh, Nick now with a one stock blade. And Nick's Falco is Nick really now, strong Killer too. Is. I mean, especially that in Falco makes more sense for me, But not to say Drew can't pull out something Ooh, amazing. Especially like with that the right dumpster there. right there. <laughs> and that brings us down to a once, you know, an even, even game. And it looks like they're really just trying to control each other with the lasers. It's the first one to get the laser and then a follow-up. Yeah. That's what it's really looking like. I mean, if you hit one of those lasers, you can just kind of keep on hitting them as you approach. Unless they Absolutely. get a power shield. Just another grab. Yeah. Send Space them off stage. Air, that laser is going to make down air. recovery hard. Downer. Dumpster. Destruction. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Absolutely. What's yeah. that saying about these Falco dudes? Get hyped. They're gonna be cool. Absolutely, because the punish game is just so strong. Once Falco, the other Falco, and gets a shine, they're gonna combo for at least 30 or 40 percent. Mm -hmm. Throws him up, gets a back air follow up, so and that's far enough off stage. That is it. Falls down. Disrespect. Courtesy <laughs> dumpster for the finish. <laughs> cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay, so they have played once before, and Nick was the victor, 2-0. Alright, we'll see if uh, we can get a repeat of that here. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, he's looking Nick's for it. Nick's certainly coming out strong, getting his uh, shines on, building up percent, getting those downers, follow-ups in the backers. Very nice follow-up, too. Ooh, catch him with an up tilt. Both of them just battling for stage control, but that back air is going to send him all the way out of the edge. Neutral air shine, Drew just didn't hold the shield long enough. Ooh. That'll get you every time. That was a bit of a dangerous angle, I think. He could have gotten hit by that forward tilt and just killed off of it, but... Makes it back to stage. Drew going looking for, for down tilts on the edge. Kind of interesting, man. Playing that laser game. Oh, there. oh, catches him with the down air. Doesn't quite space it. Wall jump. Mix up. Interesting recovery in the flutter hush off the Breaks edge. Breaks through his ankles. In a way. Okay, Nick was center stage right now. Alright. Yeah. Send him up. Slamming him down. That's my favorite thing about watching Falco play. It's like, boop, send him up. Bam, slam him down. Send him up, slam him down. Absolutely, those pillar combos, and especially on other Falcos, to too. Ooh. Just crush each other. Mistake from Duro. Short and say, uh, Phantasm doesn't make it back to the stage. We won't see it. JV. There's no way. Phantasm. No way. <laughs> no JV. I. Maybe. Maybe. He jams. He's looking oh, for it. Oh, 12%. There it goes. <laughs> Not gonna be a, in, you know. You were shielding it's those Falco lasers, I, I wouldn't maybe. be surprised if another whole stock gets taken off him. Anything it was for the happen. ledge smart right there. I thought Nick was going to back air, instead he just stayed in the shield. Alright, slams him out. That's, that's going to be a match for the uh, game. It's both players. Falco match. dittos are no, always fun match. to watch. Game two. Yeah. Another quick 2-0. Nick is just tearing his way through this uh, winner's bracket. And he's one of the favorites, too. He comes here pretty much every tournament, whether it's grand finals or losers, winners. He's usually up there, so... Yeah. All right. Cool Falco dittos. Good stuff. Absolutely. All right. In just a moment, our uh, TO will tell us what match is coming up next on stream. All right, so we've got this Rome is versus winner. Nick on stream. Winners finals. Winners finals. All right, and this is going to be Samus Falco. Um, who, who took out uh, Tucker? Did, did Rome take out? Yep. Uh, I went uh, Puff the first match, and the Samus Puff matchup. No good. But then no Fox, uh, he beat, edged out my Fox on Fountain of Dreams. All right. So, are you you still in losers then? Are you gonna like? Come yeah, I haven't played again. I th I'm playing the winner between you and Grady. Oh boy. Oh, if Grady wins this match against. Oh man, I'm. Okay. I've got tough matches coming up apparently, <laughs> but uh, let's see what I can do. That's all right. This match though is going to be super high. We have winners finals, a Samus and winners finals. Interesting matchup. Kind of weird. Kind of funky. Not something everyone's used to be playing. Yeah. So we'll see how the Falco matchup works. Um, you saw the Fox when I played against Rome. So it's, I'm interested to see how he plays as Falco against him. Well, I expect uh, Falco will have an easy time pillaring uh, Samus. 
knock yeah. him up, slam him down, get exactly. a bunch of damage up, and then you can just end it with a uh, solid side smash to send him out the side. Absolutely. I mean, side smashing dumpsters are going to be how we're going to get our kills here. I don't think Falco has too many options to kill Samus off the top, especially Samus, who's actually, despite being a floaty character, is also a heavy character. Hard to kill, hard to kill. So, we might see ban Dreamland if he does ban a stage. Um, and the thi yeah, right. Gotta watch this uh, rock, paper, scissors. Because that's like the first mind game of the set. Absolutely. If you can win rock, paper, scissors, you've got such a huge advantage. Absolutely. Other, other Especially players. Especially you let them know. Oh, yeah. Let oh, them yeah. Know. I'm on to You're you. You're going rock right here, and you just know that Throw scissors out that is paper. coming. Boom. I'm already reading you. <laughs> So they strike to battlefield. Pretty standard. Probably one of the most, or probably the most neutral stage of all the neutrals. Oh, but it looks like they've uh, gone to battlefield. Okay, right. so, so? <laughs> with Falco here, it's going to be big if he can dodge the projectiles that Samus has thrown out with the missiles. Um, and then also edge guarding. Samus has a lot of tricky recovery options with that tether and also her up B. So it'll be interesting to see how Nick edge guards this. Battlefield, Samus. a good. Uh, good Better stage for Falco because uh, Samus is going to have difficulty recovering with that uh, with, the, with the tether. Yeah, absolutely. Stage doesn't have the edges quite to grab, but you can grab onto the spaces that the stage back right there. And really strong start from Nick right here. Yeah. Looks like he knows the matchup pretty well as he reflectors that missile. That's him. Oh, another thing to watch out for with that Samus, if that Falco's crouch canceling and hits it with that down smash, it can be really brutal for Falco. Uh -huh. Alright, so looking for down smashes, Romans. Yeah, you see, what I noticed when I played Rome too, he does a lot of crouch cancel down smashes, just like that. It's kind of a get off me move, in a sense. Yeah, it gets some distance, and then you can follow it up with missiles and even the charge shot if you have it. Absolutely. All right. See, and there right it is right there. Down smash. Cancel down smash. People were calling me the uh, person who always goes to down smash, but... <laughs> with the video dedicated. Too. And Rome taking the 3 to 2 stock lead with 69%. Yeah. That's, that's got oh, solid. Nice but, down uh, air. Ooh, that was a good recovery. Absolutely. Gets the back. sweet spot. Down smash might have been a better option, but he just didn't Sends quite space it right. Stage. Not going to make it back from that, though. And only 12% difference. 22 now, but... Definitely anyone's game. Good dash attack. Hmm. Okay, Not quite close down. enough to get sucked into that. And you'll, you'll see Samus using that up tilt on the edge to try and catch Falco's illusion back on. Really good edge guarding technique. Oh. Edge guarding opportunity goes for the dumpster, but good DI by. Yeah, smash the eyes on it in the stage so he doesn't get sent down. He's in his missiles, his edge oh, guarding. There's that up tail. Walls him out. Yeah. Ooh. Uh oh, Peter. Alright. It's been a fun stream, but I've got a match right now against Grady. We'll see what I can pull out. Shame to see Peter go. Probably one of the best commentators around, at least in Chico. Very insightful. Uh oh, misses a grab, down throw punish, can't quite, Oh, Late tech chase. Laser camping right here. Welcoming Drew to the stream here. Uh, how's the game going? Oh wow, it looks really close, dude. It's super close. Rome's been catching uh, Nick with a lot of crouch cancel down smashes and just really spacing it out. Definitely, he's got the timing on that crouch cancel down smash great. Like he can catch you in between aerials or shines. Uh, it's been rough playing him as Falco. Yeah, absolutely. But he's definitely he's, spacing really well with the lasers right now. He's playing really safe. Doesn't quite want to get caught by one of those down smashes. And this could be just Ooh. misses with oh. the booties. <laughs> he's reaching now. Yeah, he was. Forward smash. You grab it. I don't right, know laser good. grab. Well, I thought that might be it. <laughs> there, there it is. Catch him with the bear. That's good. Yeah, he definitely was playing uh, pretty safe towards the end of that one. I think. Was he going like? Was he going really aggressive at first and just getting caught? That's what a, taking the stock a was. little bit, yeah. You know, if you he was going for like the pillar combos, but as soon as he got the down air, that crouch cancel down smash is just that get off me move. Definitely. 
and it's, uh, it, it sends you really far uh, and in a terrible position as Falco. Like, if you hit him with the backwards one, I think. Yeah. Um, no, it'll just shoot you the opposite direction. Uh -huh. so. Nice up. Getting the grabs off. Two grabs so far. Oh, oh charge forward smash. Oh, and just... Oh! oh. Crazy positions. He misses the... This is the ledge grab on it. He would have been able to close that out had he just gotten it, but yeah. loves that. Okay, um, working the platforms here. Who, uh, I'm guessing, like, uh, Rome picked the stage, didn't he? Yeah. He, yeah, okay, that's what mm -hmm. yeah, Good stage for, uh, that's why I always hate playing Rome, because even if you win the first one, it's really tough to take game two, because he'll just counterpick this if you don't ban it. He really likes this stage, Definitely. really likes it. And I'm guessing Nick banned Dreamland. Probably uh, that would that's definitely a better stage for uh, Samus, but I know Nick hates this stage first, and Rome on the other hand is just super comfortable on it. Oh, he loves it. Yeah, yeah I've so seen him counterpick this in a few of his matches so far. So many times, but Samus doing a good job. He's almost a full stock ahead. He's only got 26 percent. So. Um, oh, cross, cross cancel down smash right there. there. Again. And it's just the up tilt. Ooh. Oh, he's, I think he'll be able to take this. Oh, oh just a little late. Mm -hmm. oh, nice edge cancel. Yeah, good up B. And Nick's just rally on percent right now. He knows he just builds that Samus up. Oh, goes for the dumpster. He almost had a book. Oh, nice shield. Oh, he's going to kill himself yeah. right now. <laughs>